Hey guys and welcome back to a let's play of Vagrant Story. In the previous episode, we have managed to mightily defeat a dragon with a toothpick. For those who isn't sure what I'm talking about, please catch the previous video. Uh, for those who do know, toothpicks are fantastic. Appears to be a speed attack now with Raging Ache. It's kind of interesting actually. If I can kind of keep up the pace, combat will go much faster. Uh, poison Mist again. It's this kind of suckers that keep casting status effects. kind of make you have to carry everything or degenerate oh no okay strength down I'll counter that immediately with my prostasia oh wait there are different status effects okay and that does it for the shaman Right, uh, let the stats wear off a bit. Uh, Shaman, cast antidotes. I forgot to use the potion. Ah, okay. In the previous fight, of, uh, when I defeated the dragon, I picked up an elixir, I believe. So, was it not elixir? No, it was stats. Okay, never mind. Uh, I need to use the grimoire anyway, increasing my fire affinity. Resist fire, so I can have one sort of ability anytime I think. So Pyro Guard is good. So now I can enchant stuff. Uh, Eureka, let's see if there are any traps that I should take note of. There is something. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, here we go, let's step on it. It's a heal panel and reduces risk. Wow, it's a farming room. Alright, let's carry on. Uh, the, okay, so it's a floating panel. Let's step on it. Have I been here before? Okay. Uh, we will need to... I can't push this, so we will need to destroy a cube. Push this. Great. Uh, mistake. Uh, the other target. Oops. The other target. We shall try to see if one block works. Otherwise, we will need to reset the room. One? Yes, okay, one works. Unlatch the door! So I think it's the multi-level room from earlier. Let's pick up more Vera Roots. I love Vera Roots. Come on! You have no need to suck my blood. Ah, let me get up there. One more time. I have no target. What? Should do it for the bad manners in this room. I, uh, do I get up here? Uh, let's push this. Push, push. Let's get up this way. Okay, 
this way. Was it this way? I locked the door with the high synth sigil and the sigil turned to dust. A door opened somewhere, so I need to find the door in 15 seconds. Why would it matter? Hmm. Oh, crap. Eight seconds left to get to the door. Come on, come on. Seven. Six. Ashley made it through. Okay. Let us cast Prostasia. Yes. And oh stun cloud. No. Well timed, yes. Defense against paralysis works. Uh, okay, so I guess I am very afraid. Degenerating my goblin leader. Please just eat all the damage. Ouch. Eat. Yes. Eat this damage. I'm at full health, so let's go back to instill. Eat the damage and die. Die. I have picked up a ring sleeve, iron ring sleeve, fantastic. If you drop a bow weapon, I will be pleased. Whoops. One down. Shot this guy here. Take that. And there we go. Clearing out the room and back to another intersection. Oh no. Uh, let us check the map to see if we have missed any areas. Okay, looks pretty good so far. So it's time to re-explore another intersection. Data. Saving. Hopefully we find another workshop. It is time to practice forging once again. Especially with all the little loots that we've been picking up. This room is currently called from the previous one called the crossing, which makes sense for intersection. We shall we are now saving in the location called what is it uh the dark tunnel okay it's fairly dark so i can't fault it there uh let's carry on with the normal way we explore right left middle open up it is a locked room oh no i'm feeling bad about this very bad I wandered into another boss fight. Uh, I will need my pyro guard definitely. It appears to be a phantom. So let me get item equip the equip uh soul kiss. Yes, soul kiss. The rest is good. Sorcerer. I will need to cast Enchanter, sorry. Pyro Guard. Resisting fire active. 
pull this out. It is a phantom, but I'm not doing damage to it. Survive the fireball, please. Great. 25 damage. I will need to buff my chain to give me uh, gain magic is good first. Um, okay, let's stick with this. It's not working very well so far. Let's try the generate sorcerer. Uh, whoops. He generates my opponent, the fire elemental. Yeah, strength down. Fireball. Focus, focus. Yes, perfect. Taking minimal damage. Okay. Body. Risk the uh, warlock. Let us try spirit search. Okay, will work, but I am at too high of risk at this point of time. So let's drain my risk a bit. Uh, some more. Fireball, I can do this. Too fast, oh crap. Uh, 50 damage so far, so that's not too bad. Chain, let us swap in from instilled back to raging egg. Okay, uh, let us cast the spirit search spell, which should be much more accurate now. Let's deal it to the body. That, 65, fantastic. Another fireball, I can dodge this. Trust myself, believe. Yes, right on. Great. 25, the pyro guard is helping. But now I need to regather some MP. Heal up, just in case. I think I'll call this game more of a boss rush, actually. It has MP. That's actually pretty interesting to note. Okay. Enough to cast the spell. Or oh, actually enough for full MP. Flame Sphere level 1. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Uh, pain, pain, pain. 134. Okay, so let's heal up first. And use a Vera Root. Great. Vera root item. Vera root. Let's keep the risk low and get some MP before I cast this spell on you again. Full item 
No wait, uh Warlock, yes. No wait, I need item, yes. To increase my accuracy of the spell, otherwise I'll just waste all that MP for nothing. Uh Warlock. Spirit Surge, 55% is kind of high, uh, low, low percentage. So let us Vera Root one more time. If I ever drop down to 10 or below, I will probably start grinding for Vera Roots. Slow. Warlock. Spirit Surge Take that in the body 28 Take that Another Fireball This will hurt 51 this time bit of MP. Okay, that should be enough. Let us cast out Spirit Search and hopefully kill him off. I have a 40% chance of missing, so slight... Oh, I missed. I thought that I missed straight away. Okay, it's time to risk it up. Three left, so I can definitely not take a hit. So it looks like it'll be a pure combo from here. Yes, yes. I very, very thought I thought that I wouldn't make it, but yes, I made it. Fantastic! Congratulations. Your score is now 783,000 points. I'm not sure whether killing monsters increases or decreases your score. It might be a speedrun for all I know. It's counting a speedrun. Intelligence plus what? Still too smart for your own good. Grimoire Flam contains the spell Flame Sphere, uh, increasing my HP and in recharges MP. So let's no. I do not want to discard all items. Get everything. Yes, uh, battle ability for the dagger, no, uh, reduces MP by an amount equal to MP that I have used. Actually, it's kind of interesting. Okay, let's get that, especially if I come across things that recharge magic for whatever reason. Resist fire has worn off, so let's heal ourselves with the high risk. High risk, high return. 135. Uh, one more time. Healing up. Great. And use the elixir. I'm down to what I started with 20 Vera Roots. Healing elixir. Life elixir, HP plus two. Great. So now I am still nowhere near a round number, but should work for now. Oh no! Wait. What do I do? Uh, turn this way. Turn this way. Uh, 
kind of managed it with the soul kiss but I wonder if I could have done it better with maybe the Magnolia Frau from earlier yeah okay there is a bunch of things here so let's push one of them over or maybe both of them over I made a mistake again alright let's just destroy that push and push where this leads I do not know but we shall figure it out Oh no. Very horrible. Strength down, so to balance the odds, let's Prostasia. More equipment. Okay, let us deal with the sorcerer that is always usually giving us problems. So scroll down. Cast this all the way there. Flame Sphere... Wait, I didn't use the item? I cast a spell. Oh wait, wrong spell that I wanted. I wanted... Split. I'm confused. Two sorcerers, okay, that's very, very horrible. But at least I wasn't paralyzed, so you can this that's one down one more to go Let's stab that sucker. Nice. It generated a bit of risk, but uh, overall no big deal. I'll let the status effects wear off. Strength down is a bit of a bummer, but we'll need to find a strength up item soon. Items, uh, yes, I used it. So we do have Spirit Surge, Explosion, and Flame. Hmm, so Explosion is actually physical. That's actually pretty interesting. Okay, so I think I've wandered onto the path instead of actually, you know, like exploring the area. Oh no, another cutscene. I haven't saved yet. That's bad. Strength down, equip up, uh, look around the room, seems to be clear, so let's get out of here and unlock the door of the fern sigil, so maybe I'm looping back, is that something? Painful, but nothing to worry about. If you want to suck the blood, please drop something.
Okay, good. Uh, yes, more roots to cover back what I've lost so far. And it is time to heal and drop our risk down to zero. Okay, so if you have been enjoying the series with me, please do like the video. It helps me out a lot. Uh, do comment in the comments, let me know what you're thinking, and subscribe if you enjoy what I've been doing so far. Alright, I managed to pause. Um, I'm going to call the video here, it will continue immediately in the next one, so stay tuned. Uh, thanks guys for watching. panicking so much right now okay so thanks guys for watching see you guys in the next video this is gene signing off